Hello everyone! Welcome sa ating panglimang example for chain rule of differentiation. Kapag kukuhanin natin yung derivative ng f of g of x, wherein yung g of x yung inner function, this is just equal to, kuhanin natin yung derivative ng buong outer function while we treat yung g of x as is, hindi natin siya babaguhin, tapos imumultiply natin siya dun sa derivative naman ng inner function natin na g of x. Equivalent din siya dito, we have our dy over dx is equal to, eto yung outer function natin, tapos imumultiply natin sa derivative ng inner function natin, in this case u. So we have derivative of the outer function times the derivative of our inner function. Now let us have our example here. We have y is equal to the square root of 2x all over x cubed minus 2x. Bago natin kuhanin yung derivative, gawa muna tayo ng certain manipulations para mas mapasimple natin siya. So, you have our y, this is equal to, kung mapansin natin yung denominator, we have x cubed minus 2x. Dito sa dalawang terms, meron tayong common factor, that is x. Pwede natin siyang i-factor out. Kasi as we will be getting its square root, we have 2x all over, factoring out x, ang matitira sa loob is x squared, this will become x squared minus 2, extend na lang natin to. As we can see, meron tayong common term sa numerator at denominator we can perform our division. So, you have x divided by x, kaya ito ay magiging square root of, we will be left with 2 sa numerator, tapos yung denominator natin, we have x squared minus 2. Then, one thing na pwede pa natin gawin is ilipat natin itong radical into its fractional exponent. Kasi as we recall, if we are given with x raised to a, tapos ang root niya is b, this is also equivalent to x raised to a Yung nasa loob, siya yung nasa numerator, tapos yung root, this is our denominator. So this one, if we treat this as a whole, pwede tayong maglagay na exponent na 1, tapos meron tayong root na 2. So this is also equivalent to, we have our y here, 2 over x squared minus 2. Then yung square root ay magiging raised to 1 over, ang root natin is 2. With this, pwede na tayong gumamit ng chain rule of differentiation we let yung buong 2 over x squared minus 2 be our inner function. Doing that, getting the derivative, we have y prime is equal to applying chain rule dito sa buong to, since we have a power of 1 over 2, pwede tayong gumamit ng power rule of differentiation. As we recall, the derivative of a power, for example, x raised to n, is equal to, ibababa yung exponent na n, tapos yung exponent ay babawasan ng isa. So you have n times x raised to n minus 1. Ito ang gagawin natin dito sa buong to while retaining, hindi babuguhin yung inner function. Dahil ang exponent natin ay 1 half, ibababa natin siya. So you have 1 over 2 here. Tapos imumultiply natin siya dun sa buo, hindi natin babaguhin. So you have 2 over x squared minus 2. Tapos yung exponent na 1 over 2, ay babawasan natin ng isa as per our power rule. And then sa chain rule, kailangan pa natin kuhanin yung derivative ng inner function natin. Kaya kailangan natin siyang i-multiply dito sa derivative ng 2 over x squared minus 2. With this, since meron tayong 2 sa numerator, tapos x squared minus 2 sa denominator, pwede tayong gumamit ng quotient rule of differentiation. As we recall, our formula for quotient rule, kapag given tayo ng dalawang function, say u over v, Tapos kapag kinukuha natin yung derivative niya, this is just equal to, we copy yung nasa baba, we have low v times the derivative nung nasa taas, u, v times derivative of the high, minus high, kopyahin yung nasa taas na u, tapos imumultiply naman siya dun sa derivative nung nasa baba na v. And then this is all over the square nung denominator na v. With this, pwede na natin gamitin yung quotient rule para makuha ang derivative nito. So we have our low, v that is x squared minus 2. Ilagay natin, kopyahin muna natin siya. We have x squared minus 2. Tapos, imumultiply natin siya dun sa derivative nung nasa numerator natin, in our case, 2. Kaso nga lang, 2 is just a constant. Ang derivative ng isang constant is just equal to 0. So, we have 0 here, and then minus, tapos na tayo sa low times derivative of the high. Then, we proceed with high. Kopyahin natin si 2. Tapos, imumultiply natin siya dun sa derivative nung nasa baba na x squared minus 2. Then, we will be applying power rule here, exponent na 2, ay ibababa natin para makuha natin yung derivative. 
ng x squared, bring it down to, tapos imumultiply siya kay x. Following power rule, babawasan din natin to ng isa. So, we have exponent of 2 minus 1. Then, yung derivative naman ng 2, constant siya, is just equal to 0. Kaya, pwede na natin tong e1 as is. Kaya, meron tayo nung high, yung 2. Tapos, yung derivative nung nasa baba, we have 2 times x raised to 2 minus 1. With this, tapos na tayo dun sa numerator. Let us proceed with our denominator here. Yung v, yung nasa denominator natin na x squared minus 2. Kailangan natin yung square niya as per our quotient rule. So, you have x squared minus 2 and then this is raised to 2. Ngayon, tapos na tayo dun sa proseso ng pagkuha ng derivative, kailangan na lang natin tong isimplify. So, we follow here. This is equal to, kopyahin si 1 over 2. Tapos, eto, kopyahin muna natin, you have 2 over x squared minus 2. Kaso nga lang, dun sa exponent, may problema tayo kasi we have a fraction and a whole number. Para makapag-perform tayo ng subtraction ng fractions, dapat pareho yung denominators nila. So, we have 1 over 2. Ang gawin natin kay 1 is ilipat natin siya as 2 over 2. Now, they have the same denominator. Pwede na tayo mag-perform ng subtraction. Then, tuloy tayo dito. We have x squared minus 2 times 0. Itong buong part na to will become 0. Kaya, ang matitira na lang, you have 2 times 2 is 4. Tapos, x raised to 2 minus 1 is just 1 x raised to 1 or simply x. So, you have negative 4 and then that is simply x. And then, this is all over our denominator, x squared minus 2 and then squared. Now, we can perform our operation here. Pwede na natin siyang galawin. So, you have, isulat muna natin yung 1 over 2 and then multiplied to 2 all over x squared minus 2 and then, ito will become 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Kaya, ito ay magiging negative 1 over 2. Tapos, nakamultiply tayo sa negative 4x all over x squared minus 2 and then squared. Now, pwede pa siyang isimplify. Pwede pa tayo magmultiply ng 1 over 2 dito. Tapos, when it comes to negative 1 over 2, kasi if we are given with, for example, x over y, and then, this is raised to a, this is also equal to, pwede nating ilagay yung exponent both sa numerator at sa denominator. So, this is also equivalent to x raised to a all over y raised to a. Kaya, pwede nating gawin to kay negative 1 half. Doing that, simultaneously, dito muna tayo kay 1 half times etong part na to. So, this is just equal to 1 times negative 4x is still negative 4x. And then, meron tayong 2 sa denominator. This is all over 2 times x squared minus 2 and then squared. Then, etong buong to ay imumultiply natin dito. So, we have grouping symbol. So, you have 2 raised to negative 1 half. Tapos, yung nasa denominator, this is all over x squared minus 2 raised to negative 1 half. Then, we can perform our multiplication. Eto, numerator times numerator and then denominator times denominator. Since pareho sila na x squared minus 2, if we are performing multiplication with the same base, for example, x raised to a times x raised to b, ang ginagawa natin is we are just adding our exponents. In our case, meron tayong exponent na 2, ia-add natin siya kay negative 1 over 2. So, doing that, this is equal to negative 4x, writing it here, tapos nakamultiply siya kay 2 raised to negative 1 half, mamaya natin to galawin. This is all over 2 times x squared minus 2. Tapos, let us perform addition nung exponents nila. Kasi nga, pareho yung base nila na x squared minus 2. So, you have 2 plus yung exponent na to, that is negative 1 over 2. Then, extend lang muna natin to. Then, para magkapareho sila ng denominator, yung 2 palitan natin as 4 over 2. Tapos, we can perform division here. 4 divided by 2. This is just equal to 2. So, simplifying our equation further, this is just equal to negative 2x tapos 2 raised to negative 1 over 2. Tapos, this is all over. Eto, palitan natin as 4 over 2. We have x squared minus 2. And then, this will become 4 over 2 plus negative 1 over 2. Extend natin siya. Since we have the same denominator of 2, 
pwede na tayo mag-perform ng addition that is 4 plus negative 1. Then continuing with our solution, this is equal to negative 2x times 2 raised to negative 1 over 2. Tapos this is all over x squared minus 2. And then 4 plus negative 1, ito ay magiging positive 3. So we have 3. Then this could be your final answer. Pero kung gusto mong ibaba yung negative exponent na nandito, pwede rin naman siya. So we have our y prime, the derivative is equal to, may iwan lang si negative 2x sa taas. We have negative 2x, this is all over. Yung 2 natin, dahil negative exponent, this will become positive kapag binaba natin. So you have 2 raised to positive 1 over 2, and then multiplied 2, x squared minus 2, this is raised to 3 over 2. This can be your final answer. Pero if you want to transform this na nakaradicals, pwede rin naman. This is also equal to negative 2x all over. Yung 2 raised to 1 half, this is also equal to the square root of 2, tapos multiplied 2. Eto, meron tayong exponent na trisal of, pero dahil yung 2, yung denominator, this is our root, square root din tayo. So multiplied to the square root of, yung nasa loob ay x squared minus 2, this is raised to 3. This is another form ng ating final answer. You may still multiply yung denominator by this one kung ayaw natin magkaroon ng radical sa denominator. Pero, this can be acceptable as final answer. Medyo naging mahaba yung solution, pero we were able to solve, apply, chain rule, and quotient rule pagdating dito sa example na to. This ends our example number 5 for chain rule of differentiation. I hope that you have learned something. Thank you for watching.